What's up? It's Hallie. Welcome back to Raiders of Ruin. When we last left off, we developed a strategy that most battle groups cannot handle. And then we fought one of them for like an hour. <laughs> we're going to hope that things go a little more smoothly today. We're going to take out the rest of these common enemies. And then we're going to start fighting some actually difficult fights. Where we have to like use actual groups of things and stuff. So let's see. Um, uh, no, no, not that. Okay, every time I press one of these buttons on my controller, it opens this dev tools window. I don't remember it ever doing that before. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's the button that I made F12 because of Lacria Legends. All right, I'm gonna remove that assignment then. I don't need to be opening dev tools every time I do this, okay? I need that button for canceling. Hopefully I won't need it for F12 very often. Uh, well, let's see. Anyway, these guys. What are we going to do about them? We don't really know what any of these people are capable of. Except you. We know what you're going to do. You're going to, like, cold touch somebody. And then you're going to be invincible for a turn or whatever. In other words, we don't need to worry about you. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get rid of this Hellion Moonblade before they can cause any trouble. But we'll see. I can just stun it, I guess. Stun them. They're not an it. They're clearly a them. Uh, hold on. There, yeah. We don't know what they're doing, and we're not about to find out. Okay. Of course, now, they're all going to get a turn, but I can, like, aura of wrath and maybe finish one of them off. Wouldn't that be nice? Finish off a thing. Um... 10k is a lot of health. I don't know if we're gonna get there. I don't know why I keep checking the druid things. It's just not gonna do anything. The options there are not available yet. Miner burned it. Uh, I'll take a bagel chunk out, but they're all gonna get at least one turn. Oh, that one got stunned. Immunity. A chill touched yank. I forget what all those things do. Oh, hold on a second. The status. What was, what was the thing going on with you? It's a severe water weakness. Die instantly if struck by a different seal. Okay. Yeah, so they have a water attack, so they do more damage because of the guy's cold touch. Got it. I kind of figured that's what the case was, but just, just curious. Um, we're going to be blizzarding them all in a second here. So I do I need to do anything with this stuff? Not really. I mean, I guess I can heal myself a bit. There you go. Alright, that's instantaneous. Sure, just smite the big guy. He's invincible, it doesn't matter. Blizzard! Okay, we win. <laughs> that's all there was to it. Um... Lightning bolt. Are they weak to it, do you reckon? Seems like... Well, mm -hmm. It's hard to tell what makes a, an enemy weak to lightning. I had theorized watching the footage of the last session that being armored makes you weak to lightning because this guy is armored, but... I don't know. It's not totally clear to me. Alright. Uh, I guess you're just continuing to... Hey, his taunt is gone. I guess he, that's only part of his becoming invincible phase. I just didn't notice it because most of my characters here don't really care about that. They can attack whoever they want regardless of taunting, for the most part. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter. And that's gonna be it for that one. Alright, now it's just another big guy battle. Guess I can alternate with 
condemning him and all the other people actually doing useful damage and stuff. Yeah, see, he's weak to that. I don't know why. But I'll take it. I'm not upset. It also occurred to me I was a bit of a dumb bum last time, because it's totally possible for me to, um, like, use the Bountiful Harvest to get more revival items whenever necessary. And it just had not occurred to me prior. This guy really does have a lot of health. Wait, you've got a Zephyr Shot. Use it. Take all the turns. Like you're hogging. Okay. Wait, no, no. This one. Uh, I need to keep in mind. Got Zephyrs. Yeah, I think things will go pretty smoothly this time. It's kind of nice that uh, Allie as a paladin can help them deal with the stunning a bit. Plus all the other benefits of having a paladin. And at the same time, I'm kind of looking forward to when we start, like, actually using diverse groups again. back up. I can't do that right now. I guess I should... well, no, actually. I should probably use one of these bombs. It's going to do more damage than his smite, I reckon. Hey, your blizzard's ready. Is your Zephyr shot? No. Of course, I guess it's also... it depends on the length of the battle, whether we get a bountiful harvest or not. You do kind of have to wait a long time. It's a very lengthy process. A lot of the battles are done before they hit the 10th turn. And then you get that odd, uh, like, 50 turn battle or so. But, you know, those are like basically random chains. You never know when that's gonna happen. Kinda just gotta watch out for those, man. It's just part of the territory. Can't even help it, really. Nothing we've done about it. Sometimes you just get a turn, you get a battle, and it's like 50 turns. Yep. And definitely not indicative of like a poor strategy going in and a too stubbornness to not do it. Invisible blade. Why did it have such? Oh, okay. It's because... I get it. It's because the blade, it's the icon for the weapon, is taking up space. I was like, why is there a space? It's invisible. This sneaky weapon allows you to strike where no one expects. 48 attack! Your attacks can target any enemy like a ranged weapon. Yo, that's pretty nice. I was actually just thinking before I started this session that I probably want this guy just as defensive as I can possibly make him. I'm not sure if there are better defensive items I can give him as it currently stands. But I did want to get him, uh... Oh, this provides immunity to debuffs. That's pretty nice, but... I was thinking maybe regen would be good for you. Like, might be more valuable than that health potion. Oh wait, no. You can't do regen on this slot. It would have to be this. I Immunity mean, debuffs is super nice, but... Having you regenerating constantly would be really great. Like, without having to apply it. That one was minor regen. This one... Okay, you're the regen. The holy feather. The holy feather in your cap. Alright, so who do I want to have immunity to debuffs? Probably whoever is using the least valuable of these things. So that's more power and a crit chance. That is just a chance to score a crit. Uh, that's just more power, but not as good as the other one. This one's more power and crit chance. Okay, looks like you're using the least valuable of these things. Put on that champion's cape. 
There you go. Yeah, whatever. That's all fine. So I didn't give the invisible blade to anyone. That's okay. Maybe we'll do it whenever we actually prepare everybody. Oh no. It's okay. I can just mass cleanse it away. What are we even worried about? Let's put up a little of grass. I see no reason to be concerned. Oh god, what if there's an assassin among these guys? And they kill Hallie. That would actually be really bad. I don't see where he'd be standing unless he's like in front of the second imp paragon. Okay, good. There's no guy. I was really kind of concerned. But man, they did a lot of damage with that imp authority thing. Like, wow, more than I expected. Alright, as long as we don't die to them this turn, we'll be fine. But this is the turn where they just debuff everybody, isn't it? Are they both going to lower our stats and we'll just have super low stats? Hollow failure, yeah. Well, at least one of us was immune to the debuffs, right? It's fine. Um, our Way of Wrath is already up. Um, should I just throw the bomb? I'm gonna throw a bomb. Once we get rid of one of them, it won't really be an issue. Your attacks all the way down to throw the other bomb. I'll have Sydney do the blizzard first. And for some reason, Chris was had their offenses unaffected. I guess there's an item that does the offensive side as well. It's fine by me. You gotta do this though. All right, we win. The game just doesn't know it yet. So yeah, like if I condemn this guy, I can let everybody else attack the other guy and he'll be gone before it's an issue. Probably. That's still decent damage for having our stats way lowered. It really makes a difference when your stats are not lowered all the way to one, doesn't it? Yep. The answer is yep. Oh boy, that was a low hit though, oh my goodness. A mirror 392. Do you have a... No, not yet. It's almost ready to that Zephyr shot. Okay, he's already stunned. Everyone else can just shoot him. Condemn. No moves for you. Zephyr. I'm sure this will get a lot more interesting when we're actually fighting some unique monsters and like many boss battles and stuff. Probably. If I had to guess. At least that's my hope. Can't imagine why it wouldn't be, you know? Like, the bosses are like what it's all about, practically. Though I'll admit, they haven't been slouching on the uh, common enemies either. Like, they've definitely got some pretty interesting gimmicks on these things. They're just like, n not as powerful about it, I guess. It'll be interesting to see just how far this goes in the end. Oh! Stinking trebuchet. End it. Come out of here. Yeah, that's what we think of you and your stalling tactics. Ooh, we got an idol of death. Nice. More guys. Three more battles, and then we get to make an actual party. Hello, what on earth are you? Artificer's apprentice. And the Archon. 
Hmm. I don't trust you. I don't trust either of you, but the last thing we saw that looked like this was like a non-attacking combatant. So I'm really not sure what to expect. But I might be able to just wipe it out. Like with just, just easy pray it to death. Or near death. Yeah, we're not gonna quite kill it this time. Okay, laser. Ow. Oh, well that didn't really hurt that much. Upgraded. The upgraded enemy will use more powerful versions of its abilities. That's interesting. But will it matter? <laughs> Can we take it out? Oh yeah, it's gone. All right, victory is ours. Just gotta take out this thing one time at a time. I'll put a aura of wrath. And you guys are gonna waste this thing. Stunned. Prey upon it. I almost feel bad. Kind of an interesting looking thing. It's like this robot priest gimmick or whatever. It's got, or, well, no, not gimmick, aesthetic. It's got this robot priest aesthetic. You weak to lightning? No, but it still does plenty of damage. Unless you're that guy, apparently. And it's kind of interesting to see just how much of a difference um, the equipment makes, because that's the main difference between these guys. Like, sure, there's a little bit of difference in their levels and stuff, but they are largely the same. <laughs>